So hello everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to a new FIFA 21 video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you the best way to play with Spurs at this moment in FIFA. In my opinion of course, I'm going to show you the best formation, lineup tactics and instructions. First of all, I want to thank you very much for watching. Please drop a like under the video if you think this video is useful for you. You can also subscribe to my channel, it's free to do of course. I'm doing lots of tactic videos, tutorial videos, videos with gameplay in it. These are compilations from the streams that I'm doing on Twitch. The link to my Twitch is in the description, so if you want to see me playing live in online seasons, uh, yeah, follow me on Twitch and uh, yeah, join me when I am streaming. That would be really awesome if you would do that. Uh, I already made a video about Spurs, uh, maybe you saw it uh, already, but yeah, for my feeling, this is a better way at the moment to play with them. And yeah, I'm gonna show you all of it right now. The formation is a 4-3-3 attacking formation. The lineup, Loris is the goalkeeper, of course. Then we have Aouye as the right defender. Alderweireld and Sanchez are the centre-backs and Reguilon is the left defender. Uh, by default, uh, Dyer is in the squad, of course, but I like Sanchez more because his defensive stats are better and he is faster than Dyer is. So that's pretty, yeah, pretty standard, I think, but I think let's explain that, why that is. Then we have two midfielders, Sissoko and, and Dombele, and Dombele is playing as the most defensive one. And Sissoko is playing more like a box-to-box -box player, so also defensive and also attacking. And that's because of his high, high work rates, and Ndombele has the medium, medium work rates. Then we're playing with a central uh, attacking midfielder, and that's Kane. And maybe that's a bit weird because he's a striker, of course, but yeah, he is doing a really amazing uh, job there. His shooting is really good. His dribbling and passing is okay, and his physics are really good. And for my feeling, yeah, he is uh, lots of times he is free to pass the ball to, he can pass the ball to the right, to the left, or even to Mora. And yeah, you have three really fast players in front, so give them some through balls and you can create lovely, lovely chances. He also has the high, high work rate. So uh, when you have the ball, he will go forward, but when you lose it, he will go back also. And that's a pretty good thing about a central attacking midfielder, in my opinion. And the special weapon is, yeah, you need to uh, watch that when you are with Bale or with Son on the wings and yeah, going near the box, look for Kane. He will make some lovely runs into the box pass the ball or cross the ball to him and he can score some wonderful goals for you that way. Uh, on the right side, already said, Gareth Bale, uh, Mura is our striker and Son is on the left side. Um, you can variate a bit about this if you don't like to play with uh, Kane on the cam possession but more as a striker. Uh, I can imagine that uh, what you can do is easily switch these two, Kane in uh, playing as a striker and Mura, you can play him as a central attacking midfielder. Uh, if you don't like to play with Kane, I get a few uh, comments on my other Spurs video because yeah, some players only like to play with fast players and Kane is not really fast, of course, with 68 pace. What you can do is put Bergwijn over here and I will recommend to play with Mura as a striker. Bergwijn on the left side and you could play Son as the central attacking midfielder. So there are a bit of vari variations uh, possible of course, but for me Kane as a central attacking midfielder, Moura as a striker, Bale on the right side and Son on the left side. So then we're going to the tactics. I choose press after possession loss because you have pretty good attackers, fast attackers. So when you lose the ball, they will run really fast to the ball, to the man with the ball, and your opponent doesn't have lots of time to decide what to do. Lots of players don't know what to do then and making mistakes. So make use of that uh, with the press after possession loss. Uh, width is five bars, depth is seven bars. Uh, balanced offensive style with a width of seven bars, plays in the box, five bars, quarters of free kicks, both three bars. Then we're going to the instructions, OEA, overlap, run type, so balanced attack, so he can go forward uh, if he wants and when there is an opportunity, and when there is not an opportunity, he will stay back uh, normally. But when you think that's a bit too attacking for you, what you can do is change this to stay back while attacking. 
Uh, Alderweireld and Sanchez are just default and the left defender the same. Overlap red type, but when you think it's too attacking for you, change this to stay back while attacking. Then we're going to end on Bele, he's the most defensive midfielder as I already said. Stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center. Sissoko balanced attack, he already has the high high work rate so he could go forward anyway and come back anyway so balanced attack is good. Stay on the edge of the box for the cross and cover center. Then we have Gain. Kane, the only thing that I change for him is get into the box for the cross because when there is an opportunity to cross you really want him into that box. Then we have Bale, get inside, get in behind, get into the box for the cross. Mura, stay central, get in behind, and Son, cut inside, get in behind, and get into the box for a cross. And yeah, these three are really amazing in front, making some lovely runs. Make sure you will watch them make those runs when there is an opportunity. Give them these through balls. They have the pace, and you can create lovely, lovely chances. So that's it for Spurs. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will try this out yourself. And hopefully you will win with this, of course. Let me know in the comments what you think of it and what your results are. And yeah, hopefully we will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.